What's up, Ant City, and welcome back to a brand new series on the channel. So if you've been keeping up with my uploads lately, you probably realize that I did something called the Demon Slayer Nuzlocke Challenge in these past few weeks, and all I'm going to say is go check out the playlist if you want to see how that turned out, how that series went. But because of how it went, I decided, you know what? I might need to practice playing this game a little bit more, and so I figured, why not do some of that on camera? So... This series that I'm calling Nuzlocke Training is a pretty simple concept. So basically what I did is I went onto YouTube and looked up some combo guides for each of the characters in this game. So, you know, that goes for Tanjiro all the way through to the demons, which the last one is Yushiro and Tamayo. I looked up combo guides for all of them. And so the basic premise of this series is we're going to be practicing some of those combos and trying to like perfect them. You know, kind of learn more about how each character plays and optimize them. We're going to make that a whole series out of this. And then and then at the end, we're going to see if we can hop into an online match and actually perform better, at least. Hopefully win. That's the goal, to win. Uh, but mostly just trying to optimize how I'm using all these characters. Because, yeah, if you saw the Nuzlocke challenge, you already know. So today, since it's the first video, obviously, uh, just like the Nuzlocke series, I'm going to go through the characters in order from left to right. So, of course, we're going to be starting off with Tanjiro today. You know, normal water wheel Tanjiro. We're going to be starting off with him. And let's go with training Tanjiro because, you know, this is a training series after all. So, yeah, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. I will credit the people who I looked up the combo guides from in the description of this video. And probably the top comment as well, the pin comment. But, yes, yeah, so without further ado, we're just going to go ahead and get straight into it. Okay, so the first combo guide I found was by someone named... Okay, so quick cut in right here. I just wanted to correct myself here. This guy's name is actually pronounced Mr. Alberonin. I do say it wrong for like the next two or three videos, but I do eventually pronounce it right. I was saying it wrong at first, so I just want to let y'all know I do know it's Mr. Alberonin. Anyways, back to the video. I will link his videos and his channel down into the description of this combo guide. So that way you guys can look at it for yourselves. I'm not going to go super into detail about what exactly he was saying in his videos. Just so that way you guys can actually go watch it. I don't want to spoil his video here, you know. But I will still use his combo. So the very first combo is pretty simple. You just do this. So you, when you're up on your opponent, you can dash into it or whatever. But you just do this until Tanjiro does, does that part. So again, you hit square or x if you're on xbox until tanjiro does that little slash right there at the end and then you go into a waterfall and then so we're gonna i'm gonna show it off again so you do that into that slash waterfall and then you do it again and this combo is actually pretty effective again i'm not gonna go into details explaining why this is good or anything because uh, i'm gonna let mr albernan take that away but i will say this is actually very effective part of it is because of the meter you can build up and that's one thing I definitely need to work on. I do tend to use up a lot of meters. So, yeah, this is a really good combo to use. Uh, and, yeah. Okay, and then the next combo that he showed off is a way to do a reset, which if you don't know what that means, you see how there's that little meter on the left with how much combo you can do. Basically, a reset is when you end the combo, like that meter goes away, and then you start up another combo like immediately after. So it's called a reset because you're resetting that meter. So basically all you do is after this very so you do the first one the first waterfall and then after this one you actually do your up ender okay i'm gonna try that again but um so basically you do this into your first waterfall then here you do an up combo into water wheel and then they fall right back in front of you and you can continue the combo off of that so again let me just show it off again oh i messed up yeah let me go over here to the side so it doesn't get pushed into the building so you can see it a little better so basically you do your first waterfall into your up combo into water wheel and then they fall back in front of you yeah you see that so that's a good way to get a combo reset there which again is something i never knew how to do and i think it's actually very effective so yeah so you do that again i'm just gonna show it off one more time water wheel and then they fall right back in front of you so you just kind of keep hitting square or x if you're on xbox uh after that so you do i'm gonna show it off one more time so this into the up combo water wheel and then you keep going and then yeah you, you most i don't know if they're actually if the, your opponent's actually able to block or recover off that maybe with an assist obviously but um i don't know if they're able to block off of that but either way it's pretty fast so it seems like it's pretty effective so uh that's another combo that i'm gonna keep in mind because that's really good 
and with that combo, you can uh, end it off with in multiple different ways. Um, again, I'm not going to explain all of them here. I'm just going to show off one way that's pretty effective that you can do. So you can, instead of going for... Oh, I did a water wheel there. Oops. But um, instead of going for more like of a combo afterwards, you can do this. So you do up, water wheel, and then you can go for a grab, which I think is a much better option, especially if your opponent's probably going to like block. And look, that took away like half of his health in that one combo. So yeah, it's a pretty good combo, but uh, yeah, that's just, there, there's a few different ways you can end it off, but those are like two ways that I, pr that I think I personally would use the most. So yeah. And so after that, if you want a combo that does a little more damage, Mr. Albernan in his video showed off this one. So if you like combos that go up into the air, which if you've seen my Nuzlocke challenge series, I definitely do. So you do that into the Whirlpool. So I'll kind of break it down a little bit more. So basically you just hold the up button or like the you hold the analog stick up because when you do that the ender of the combo will go up then you dash do two slashes they hit the ground you keep going until that slash you know the the same one that you would do the waterfalls on let me let me just show it off so this slash right here which basically the way you get that is by just not holding any direction like not up or down because if you hold up it looks like this right and then if you hold down let me show that if you hold down it'll look like this you slam them down onto the ground. So you don't want that. You only want the up for the first one. So you, again, you go up into the air, dash, two slashes, hit the ground. Keep. Oh, I did it too late. You don't want to wait too long. But it's like basically as soon as you hit the ground, keep hitting square or... Oops, I did a heavy. Let's restart. Um, so yeah, you go up into the air, dash, two slashes, keep going. And then after that main slash, you do the whirlpool, which does a little bit more damage than the other combos. Obviously, the re I feel like the reset combo is still the best one. Uh, in terms of like damage but i think the whirlpool super in general just does more damage so yeah so i'll start off one more time so you do this oh oops i messed up so you go up and then two slashes come down keep going slash whirlpool so yeah it's a pretty good combo and it does a good amount of damage so yeah so then basically for the rest of that video, he just shows off combos that you can do while you're boosted or surge, which is basically, you know, this mode is boost, and then you click it again, this is surge. He just shows off combos you can do during those. I'm not going to worry about those in this video, though. I just wanted to get the basics. But again, if you guys are interested in what you can do there, because let me tell you, it's pretty broken. <laughs> but um, yeah, just go ahead and look down into the description. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and practice a little bit more off camera, and then we might get into our online match and see if we can pull off some of these combos but yeah i'm gonna see what i can do with these combos that i learned but yeah so i'll see y'all in the online match all right so now we're gonna go ahead and look for an online match which we found a room right now so we're gonna go ahead and see if i can put what i've learned into practice and if so then we will you know if we can get a win then we'll officially be good so yeah and of course, we're going up against none other than Akaza, because there's just been a million of them online. But um, yes, yeah, so let's just see if I can take what I learned and put it into practice here. So we're going to go for the reset here. Watch this, into this, and then pick it right. Oh, he blocked. So he is able to like move and stuff during that combo. Oh, he got me. Oh, I blocked him though. Let's go. All right. Oh, got him. Okay. And I'm going to go. I need more meters. So I'm going to go for this combo right here. Get my meter back up. Let's throw the assist out. Oh, he stopped it. I was I had I was relying on Nezuko there too, a little too much. But um <laughs> you know, let's try to Ooh! Block. Okay, let's try to end it off with just a simple whirlpool. There we go. Okay, yeah, the, okay, these combos are definitely working out for me. I don't know if maybe I don't know, but like so far I feel I feel like these combos do actually work. And it was something like so simple, I just never knew. And like this goes for every character. I just don't really know how to play these characters that well. Like I've never learned properly. So I guess actually having some semblance of like a reliable combo and like learning why it's good and everything really is helping me out. So yeah, we're gonna go for the reset again here. And I think I'm gonna go for a grab afterwards. There we go. Yeah, look at that. He's blocking into the ground. Oh my god, it's so good. Now we're gonna go for a heavy. Get him with that. Oh, I missed. I kind of dropped the heavy a little bit. Oh. Are we good? Whirlpool? Oh, it didn't kill. Okay, assist. Oh, the grab was too far. Oh, I, th I thought I could counter his thing. He has, like, no health. Oh, I meant to water wheel. Oh, no. Okay, at least at least this is a, a, a red combo, so he can't go for too long. 
Did Nezuko just miss completely? Oh no, am I dead? I might be dead. Oh no, he dropped it. Oh my gosh. Okay. We gotta be a little bit more careful here. Okay, go ahead. Stop it. Got him. Okay. Woo! We just had to be a little bit careful there. That's another thing I need to do. I need to play... I think another problem with my play style is my defense, but I think I was pretty careful there. So, okay, get him. What? Oh, the water wheel! Let's go! Okay, do this. And then, and then, and then do this. Into the... Oh, that's gonna drop. No, I got him! Is that a win? Is that a win with no damage? There's no way. There's no way. Okay, no, it's not a win. The cut it didn't happen. But that was good. Oh, my God. Bro, hold on. I am very happy with this, these combo results. Yeah, this is all I needed for the Nuzlocke chat. Let's go! We got a win! Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my gosh. We got a win. All right, yeah. Uh, I, I really think that this is going to help me become better. Obviously, I'm not going to stop practicing here. This is where I'm going to practice, like, stop the practice for Tanjiro on video because we got... You know, we met our goal. We got some combos going, and they worked out really well. We didn't even lose a single round. But uh, I'm not going to just stop practicing there, though. I will continue to practice off-camera. But as, in terms of on-camera, the Tanjiro video went really good. So I'm hoping the other ones can go well just as well. But yeah, thank you all for watching, though. Hope you all enjoyed. If you didn't, make sure you slap that like button and that subscribe button. I really think this is going to be helpful. If you're wondering why I'm doing this series, by the way, I don't think I explained it at the beginning. But... I'm planning to do a season two of the Nuzlocke challenge, and I want to get better at the game, so that way that series can go better than the first one did. But yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, slap that like button and that subscribe button, and make sure you share this video around to your grandma, your grandpa, your manager, your coworkers. And if any of you are doing the Nuzlocke challenge right now, make sure you use that hashtag Demon Slayer Nuzlocke and show it off to me. But yeah, till next time though, I'll see you all later, and peace! Have a good day or night, y'all.